Hello, and welcome to this video about how to use the Python packaging template. Uh, so this template might look a bit different when you're looking at it, if I've made any changes to it, but the basic usage will remain the same. Uh, so basically, if you're on GitHub, uh, I'll put the link down below, But or if you're on the actual GitHub thing, then um, it's just github.com slash Canadian dash coding slash Python dash package dash template. And so what this is for is this is for creating a Python package that kind of has a lot of things already sorted out for you. It has a lot of stuff that's easy to use and makes things as simple as possible. Uh, the key components of this is that it already has a pre-created tests folder for you. It already has a docs folder for user documentation, and it already has some of the basic packaging stuff set up as well as um, things like build pipelines like Knox and uh, a simple setup.py that you can just go in and change everything that you need. Uh, it comes with the unlicense. So I'm going to give you this warning ahead of time. If you're making your project, make sure to change this if you want to use a different license. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing this in this video. Um, what I'm going to be doing is this is going to be the precursor to a series I'm going to be doing about creating a, uh, a package that's going to be going up on PyPI. And so <clears throat> if you want to see more details about how I go from this to a full-blown package, that video series will be linked that the playlist will be linked at the end of this video. Um, but for this, I'm just gonna show you the basic setup, which is what uh, you'll need to do. So <clears throat> if you're in GitHub and you have a GitHub account and you're logged in, you can just go ahead and click use this template. You also have the option to clone or download it and do all this stuff manually yourself if you want, but I'm just gonna click use this template. <clears throat> With this, then you'll get to the standard uh, GitHub page and from here you can give it a name. So in this case, uh, the package I'm making is called AHD, which stands for ad hoc um, dispatcher. And uh, actually, let me just quickly double check. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. <laughs> I can't remember the name. I changed the name of the, uh, the thing. Is, yeah, AHD. So uh, AHD is just what I'm calling this. Um, and I'm just going to leave the description blank because I'll deal with that later. Um, and I'm going to make it public. I'm going to hit create repository. And basically what the template repository will do is it'll take all those files. It will create a new um, folder with everything in it, exactly as I had it excuse me, sorry, in the uh, in the original folder, or in the original repository. So now I just have a completely separate thing and it says generated from the uh, Python package template. <clears throat> so from here, I can go ahead and I can copy this. I can go on my desktop here and I can do git clone and then the URL. And here is the package. So this has everything <clears throat> in it already set up and ready to go and I can just start making uh, all the changes that I need to. Uh, one thing I am gonna do actually is I forgot that there is a really nice feature in here where you can actually swap the license pretty easily if you just hit edit. So I'm gonna choose a different license template. Uh, let's do... Do, 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 we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna do GPLv3. That seems to be the most reasonable one. I don't know if there's any differences between V2 and V3. Private use and patent use. I see, so it does that. Okay, cool. Um, so in this case then, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and swap it to the GPL v3, which uh, the unlicensed does allow you to do this. Uh, I specifically chose the unlicensed because it allows you to swap the license around. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and commit that change directly to the repository. <clears throat> And there we go. So now we have everything all ready to go. I've included in the README a to-do list with everything that you should be doing um, in here and also some additional documentation and just how to write your first set of documentation um, for your module with a lot of stuff already predefined and uh, how to use some of it. So if you're interested in seeing how to fully build out a project using this, um, then be sure to check out the series for me developing AHD, um, which will have everything uh, everything you need to know about building something with this uh, <clears throat> with this package template. So thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.